The devotion that we have today is about a man named Caleb. Natatandaan natin na nung nagpadala si Moises ng labindalawang mga tiktik or yung tinatawag nilang 12 spies to the land of Canaan upang tingnan, manmanan ang lupang pangako, yung promised land. 10 out of 12 spies made a negative report. There were only two people, si Joshua at si Caleb, ang nagkaroon ng magandang report. Caleb even said with Joshua, which is very contrary, opposite to the negative report. The negative report said na sila ay maliit at sila ay mukhang tipaklong sa, muka, sa mata ng mga higante. But by faith, Joshua and Caleb said, We are well equipped. We can do it. We can make it. God has equipped us to defeat those giants. Now, in the first Chronicles chapter 4 verse 15, it was fascinating because after many years of journey, when the Israelites kept walking, habang naglalakad sila at lubakad sila ng lumakad sa ilang or sa disyerto, maraming tao na ang lumipas. And of course, tumanda na itong si Caleb. At yun ang ating pag-uusapan for today. Now, in 1 Chronicles chapter 4, verse 15, is that the devotion that we have is we, you and I, are never too old to defeat a giant. Well, maraming mga tao and some of us may be thinking na matanda na ako ngayon, 30 years old na ako ngayon, 40 years old na ako, or 50, or 60, or 70. So, I will just have to stay at home. I will just have to stay the way I am. But no. Look at Caleb. In the book of Joshua chapter 14 verse 10, it records that although Caleb was 85 years of age. Caleb was still eager to drive out and defeat the giants that were in the hill country of Hebron. So kahit 85, year, 85 years old na itong si Caleb or si Caleb sa English, talagang gusto niya pa rin lumaban at labanan, talunin ang mga higante na mga anak ni Anak. So makikita natin mga kapatid sa Deuteronomy chapter 9 verse 1 to 2 that the Anakites are there. Anakites were a giant-like people. The Anakites, ito yung mga higante. And in fact, some people believe that the Goliath was one of the bloodline of Anak, yung mga Anakites. But Caleb, it would have been easy for Caleb na... Wag na lang lumaban kasi matanda na siya eh. What's the point? 85 years of age. Matandang matanda na siya. Uugod-ugod na siya. Madali niyang sabihin na upo na lang ako, magpapaiwan na lang ako. But no. Caleb, fearlessly, walang takot niyang nilabanan, pinalayas, tinalo, ang mga higanteng nakatira sa Hebron, Pinalayas, tinalo ni Caleb at the age of 85 ang mga higante na nakatira sa promised land. Habang yung mga kaibigan ni Caleb na matatanda na ay nasa rocking chair. But Caleb kept on fighting and serving the kingdom of God. So the devotion that I would like to leave you mga kapatid, you are never too old to defeat a giant. Ano man ang mga higante sa buhay mo ngayon, ano man ang mga 
malaking problema ang nasa kinakaharap mo ngayon, sakit, karamdaman, kawalan. Naniniwala ako mga kapatid and I declare just like Caleb, you are about to defeat those giants on your way because the hand of God is on you. At sinabi ng Panginoon sa atin mga kapatid that if God is for us, who can be against us? And greater is He that is in us than He that is in the world. God bless you mga kapatid. Pagpalain kayo ng Panginoon.